Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, where last episode, after finishing scouting Route 2 on one's entrance, we moved back through Eterna City to head south down Cycling Road, facing many bikers along the way before then starting back up north, underneath the overpass, where we entered the dark, wayward cave, illuminating it with flash as we now explore. My god, this cave is massive! Oh. Should I not go in here? This is... I'm gonna lose the way. I do have an escape rope, don't I? Hmm. Especially with this encounter, right? kind of torn. What's faster? Straight up defeat the enemy or run? What would be better for me to do? Wandering around, I got hungry, so I ate some wild mushrooms. They gave me gas, and now I can't stop burping. Look, a train lost in Wayward Cave! No, I was literally coming for you. I'm not lost. You were my destination. Lorenzo and Reginald, was it? I like some gear, dude. If I use... All those, that's going to hit Primplup too, right? But if I switch it for Staravia, it won't. Oh, it went first anyway. Oh no, there we go. I think that's how this works. <laughs> I think this is the most clever strategy. Not bad. Of course, Staravia's uh, can get rocked a bit too. Okay. Big attack boost, right? Ah, attack and defense instead. Matchup. This partnership is actually really good. Might as well just bulldoze again. Oh. That was a nice matchup. I kind of blind countered things a little bit. Oh, Onyx didn't go down. Oh, because the defense increase. This guy seemed randomly tough. No problems to be found here, right? Try to trigger sturdy, but I got a crit anyway. Nice. Oh, I'm going to water there. <laughs> but I do have a second water here. Crit and pull up is level 25. I think I'm getting better. I'll stray from the power plan.
Oh yeah, there's a Pokemon there. There's mushrooms growing on its back. Not around here. Somewhere far away. I wonder if the mushrooms taste any good. Hey, no, I'm not lost. I live here. <laughs> hey then. Let's check my bag to see what I actually have in it. I do not have an escape. And I do have one escape rope. I have a repel. I also have a super repel. I might just use the super repel. We can use the escape route to get out when we need to. Super potion. Problem is, how long does the super repel last for? Ah! Did you kind of play too? Wanna play battle with me? Hush now, lost little Pokemon, don't you cry. I'm here to take care of you. I'm a human being. Thanks to Wade and Les Cassidy. Previous strategy applies, right? I could do that to get extra damage, I guess. Probably weirdly my best tag team damage duo currently. Any random mushrooms? Well, he's ill already. You know he's had to deal with it. The issues that it's causing. Don't worry, you could just go in a cave's corner somewhere, you know? Nice. The bird and the boulders. Did anyone tell you about that? Did your parents tell you about the bird and the boulders one day? The builder said no, and then the story stopped. Oh, that's problematic. You can't be flying now. That's my job. I guess quick attack will probably be just fine on the Baneary. Hey, we're going first. But quick attack still is better than quick claws. Quick. Patrusu continues the level. This is where I'm supposed to come through this cave, but I'm supposed to come through this cave in a bit. Ah, oh well. One more. I think you're just normal. I'm so surprised. Don't worry, I'm slowly, slowly remembering. Typings. Jude is level 25. Just toying with me. Who, who's crying now? It's always the weird bit when you go into one of these caves. Hey, Geodude's evolving. It's Graveler dude! Graveler make their home on sheer cliff faces that have numerous holes in them. Which they make, right? Big punchy, punchy fists. Playing hide and seek here. I like some underground tag too. Speaking of crying, I'm positive I heard crying from deeper in the cave. That's worrying. Probably the old man. Probably the mushroom guy. Oh, oh my guts! TM32 double team is obtained. Don't want the repel to run out, do we? 
Okay, I think we go up here and then we keep going up. And we go left for now. Question is, how big is this cave? They're all tag team battles. Where am I? Am I lost? Who are you? Are you a Pokemon trainer? Ah, oh, you're lost, aren't you? I'll guide you if you can beat me. Now I have to trade to evolve further. Don't worry, I remember that much. Bugs! Lots of bugs. I don't know, should I peck? Or Metal Claw, the one on the left. That was not enough. Graveler, he's a meteorite. If I don't need to train him to evolve yet, I can let him learn some skills. He says, wondering what the optimum level is to do it. Ah, is that your strategy, is it, sir? Let's see who's still faster. Wow, Primplup got hit quite a bit. Oh, no wonder, critical. Those first two bits, the bit, the first scratch. Farewell. I treat you want to learn the move Spark. I mean, you probably should learn Spark, but not over Flash. Over Grail. Didn't get quick attack up till now. I'll use Smackdown, and that should take care of the bug. Two times effective, right? That leaves us with one more opponent incoming. That dude's falling behind here. Dust stops. Stoomed. Four times effective. Yeah, but isn't it like weird? It's kind of like mechanics for that. But yeah, it's four times. I'm just weird. For some reason, I've gone 1.5 times and two times. I think probably because of a different game. Critical modifiers in some games are very weird and not simple as two times, four times. Some lower levels got. Okay, so we're both trainers. That's the start, right? I said I'm going to win. I just want to have a picnic on a cycling road. I didn't think I would get lost in a place like this. I'm not lost, I tell you. I'm camping. That's my story. I'm sticking to it, right? A rare candy. It would be in our bag and never used. Oh, the super repel keeps going. <laughs> Sam, you need to learn to shut up sometimes. <laughs> that repel's not gonna last very long, is it? This might be the last bit of the game, to be honest. An escape route? I wonder why. By the way, are these items here? No. Ah. There was a potion there. This is the last side of it to explore. Here we go. We're out of repels. I'm you, but bigger. Less levitating. That's sturdy? I was just didn't do enough. So 
somewhat surprising. We're grabbing to lose some attack damage? <laughs> Here's another duo battle. Zubatsu. I might change my second party member, if you know what I mean. Printbloop is not exactly great for the HP. Use an escape route. It does go to the entrance of the cave, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm saying that pretty sure that's true, but worried all the same. I didn't even get to move. <laughs> Can't use. Oh, I can use bulldoze. So it doesn't have levitate. Fine. Don't worry, we'll be able to move again soon. What every good picnic needs is a cute setting, good food, and a fun battle. Ah, oh, you lost too. No, it doesn't matter. Let's have a quick Pokemon battle. Alright, one has two, one has one. Meditite and Giselle. Not actually a good set of bonds for me to fight. Hmm. A lot of things are effective against one of them, or both. I can go with the double attack then. Oh, nice. That way, if it KOs the Meditite... Oh, I forgot to say Wing Attack will follow up. Instead, Graveler's attack damage, maybe from Evolution, was enough that the Bulldoze just took everything out. There you go, Patchy Soup. <laughs> yeah, it did fail. I can hit one of the kids. <laughs> no, I can't. Don't worry. No. Super effective against you. I just don't think I'll go fast enough. Oh, okay. Never mind. If you ask me what Pokemon I think I, I thought I'd be playing with when I started this, I never would have said a Geodude. <laughs> I never thought that would be the thing I'd be leveling up. Primplup is 26. That wasn't any fun for me. Not fair, we're not on the same level. 1,084 more. Saying I should get off the bike and encounter less? I'll have to believe you, Sobe. I have a picnic here. I don't know. There's no deep meaning to it. I got separated from my friends. I got my Pokemon with me, so I'm okay, but... Oh, okay. There's actually more of this cave. I've been playing for 7 hours and 20 minutes. Yeah. And haven't got more than two badges. But there's been all these routes to explore. Oh, and this one does have levitate. Oh, that's disappointing. It's not like I've been running around trying to, like, go slow or anything, is it? I should just run now. There could be another route to this cave that I've missed entirely, but I wouldn't know.
Hmm. So because I don't know if this guy has Levitate or not, it's not worth me fighting them at all. I'm not even really sure. But this is faster or not. Counter rates are somewhat random though, so I couldn't really tell, but if getting rid of the bike is helping me or not. I'm stuck in the Wayward Cave. Graveler's level 26. Also walking versus running. Yeah, but I'm not gonna walk everywhere. That would be weird. There's nothing there. My god, how big is this cave? Feel like you might just have the Pokemon I've been looking for. In deep tunnels and caves, there are a couple of things you're sure to see. Zubat and Rune Maniacs. Electa Terry and Rune Maniac Gerald. That last bit goes out very fast. Oh, ghosts. That's interesting. Um, so we could have limit like levitate. You could not. Ideally, I need to take out Geodude, who won't have levitate. It's either Sturdy or the other one. The other one. Levitate. Good question. Gas is them. First one then we see. The encounter rate is kind of crazy. I just finished one battle and I have another encounter. I have had a couple of times where that's just happened where I haven't even moved. I've just started to move. It's literally, I'm literally on the same spot and I get into another battle. I mean, high encounter rates in video games such as this or JRPG, JRPGs so is a, a genre. Um... That's kind of normal. You went first, did you? Well, let's find out if this one's got levity or not. Well, the more old school it tries to be, or the more old school it tries to emulate, the higher the encounter rate. Okay, it does have levity. Oh, nasty. Do with all the ghastly men. It's the strongest ghastly yet. Mm, nothing I use on that dude's very effective. There we go. A rock splash is effective, it's not super effective. Nothing on my burst the Ravia was effective at all. On the Bronzor. I'm pretty sure Smackdown was going to work though. No matter what, I can't take down the Bronzor in one attack, so I need to use two. Unfortunately, that just happened. Come here, Bronzor. I need to bite you. I mean, if you crit, that'd be great. In fact, that might disable the Levitate as well, but by that point in time, I've probably done enough damage. See what I mean? Whereas I could take out the gas, I was confident of taking that down with one hit. Because you can't punch a ghost if you're normal, but you can punch a ghost if you fight. No, I don't even sure. You can throw a rock at a ghost. That works. You can have a single Pokemon I wanted. You're not a collector. You're awesome power. It's mystifying. Okay. At least this jaunt in here, even though I'm lost, is good money. <laughs> Very picky, so I want to collect every Pokemon without anyone's help. 
I do have friends, though. No, seriously, I do. I've scared every inch of this place. Most of it while I was lost. Anyway, if there's one thing I can say, this place can't be called ruins. Tiny mushroom was found in the corner. Tiny encounter was found right here. We called it the cave that has no end. I'm working my way back up for the place. I should call it the cave of tag team battles, to be honest. It's a cave of endurance. That would be Victory Road. This is Victory Road. What are you talking about? What the hell have I found here? I'm a bit worried about this. She's got different hair. Super boss. We found a super boss in a cave. What are we facing? Get in the front. Print plot. Hi, Mira. I was catching Pokemon and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please, please take me to the exit. Wait, can I use an escape route? I'll keep your Pokemon healthy all the time. Oh, okay. I like helpful Pokemon moves like Growl and Minimize. Those kind of moves are my favorites. I think if I use an escape route. That won't work, will it? Wait, which way's which? I think it's left here, then down, then left, then up. We went in here for an escort mission. Well, that's not good. Psychic's no good against Steel. Boobly Beam. Not enough. You can't confuse the confuser. What are you doing? How many more bubble beams do I have? I should probably use it and take it out. I thought that wouldn't work at all, to be honest. It's a shame that half of the enemies in here are bronzels. Okay, up. Left. Up. Right, isn't it? No, it's just straight up. Left. Up. <laughs> left. Down. I was like down, right, down, right, down, right until we're out, right? I think. Found the random and Pokemon escort mission. A start, yeah. Enter our Pokemon cheat codes. I can't believe when we started our way down the cycling road that we wouldn't even get to the next place. <laughs> Artisan memory? Oh, that's trouble. Can 
we just run? Oh, nice. Well, we left her behind. <laughs> oh, there's the exit. I want to get tougher so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Well, that's Henry. Bye-bye. Thank you. I saved a young girl. And I didn't even get a reward. <laughs> What's wrong with this world? Found a poison barb. Poison attack amplification. Where's she gone now? Well, we nearly made it out of the place. I think with that whole Wayward Cave ex episode, etc. I'm kind of done for the night. I'm done for the episode. Because we uh, found a young girl, rescued her from her plight. Is it slabbered in honey already? Now we have to wait for our lovely honey trees to grow some bugs or something. We made it back to where we were. And I know we're so close to our next town. There's probably a little more on the road, yeah. I'll have to check things out and figure out where I've been and where I've not. But I'm going to stop here at the end of the cycling road. We've not made it even to our next town yet, though, to be honest, it's probably very close by, the right route over here, so this is just a stop before we take a right towards Hot Home City. And we will move that way next time. So thank you guys for joining me for the first session, the first set of 14 episodes of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We will continue on this adventure in Sinnoh next time. I'll see you guys then for more. Have a great night or a great rest of your day wherever you are across the world. Thank you for watching. As I say, bye bye